not too long ago, my youngest son came bounding in the back door, and my wife had to stop him and ask frustratingly, do you really have to get dirty every time you play outside? <laughs> of course I do, Mom. Now, that wasn't the response she was expecting, but I had to laugh because my brothers and I were the same way. We always loved getting dirty. <laughs> we knew that playing in the mud was not an issue. Now, as a decorative artist and a faux finisher, I brought that same zeal of the products that I was using and took them into my work, creating beautiful walls for people to come home to. The problem was that the solvents in those oil-based paints were starting to affect my health. I switched to water-based paints, and it didn't change. I was getting headaches, dry eyes. The culmination was one day coming home after glazing a house. I realized I had the same symptoms as somebody that was arrested for a DUI. Now, what I didn't understand is that the water-based products had chemicals in them that were just as bad for me as before. A simple example is ethylene glycol. It's a product used as antifreeze. It's a known poison. Now, frustratingly, there's an alternative, healthier alternatives, but the ethylene glycol persists. The poison is still there. This is unacceptable. Now, as the average consumer, we just buy products and we use them. We don't really know. We buy products that we use every day, assuming that they're safe. Many of them are not. So what can we do? We need to demand healthier alternatives and be persistent until those demands are met. We need more solutions. One solution was looking back at what people were putting on their walls eons ago. Clay, sand, natural pigments. That solution became American Clay and a product called American Clay Earth Plasters. That solution gave people an alternative to paint that wasn't going to put chemicals and increase the ever-increasing quantity of chemicals in our homes. Now, the problem is that's just one product. We need more products that are going to give us those solutions. Now, today, I don't get to do as many applications, but when I do, I know I have a choice that is healthy for me and healthy for my clients. The problem is these products don't just happen. These healthy choices don't just happen. We need to be a demand for healthier options and use those options. Now, today, we live in a world where we ha don't have easy choices. My boys will live in a world where they have easy, healthy choices. Choices as easy as letting them play in my product. 